Good morning. Today I'm going to do things a little bit backwards. I am going to announce the winner of my last giveaway and I have four winners and I'm going to do that first because after I announce the winners, I'm just going to talk about stuff and it may not be anything that you're interested in. It's a little bit of makeup I purchased and just some random things. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the winners. And what I am giving away is a set of the Core Brush Line from BK Beauty. And they provided these brushes. So I've got that's the first one. Then I provided three $100 e-gift cards or deposits into PayPal and a $50 one because just not too long ago, I reached 35,000. So I wanted to celebrate and uh, it just excited me. I did random comment picker. If you were interested in being in the giveaway, I just asked you to put first what you wanted, money or brushes. And then I load them in the random comment picker thing. It's real easy to do. And then I just put brush money. So they had to have the word brush or money in the thing. And here's how it came up. The winner of this brush set, it's five face brushes and four eye brushes. Fabulous set. The winner is Myra Rainey. Congratulations, Myra. And the first winner of the $100 e-gift card or deposited in the PayPal is Anna White. Congratulations, Anna. The next $100 winner is Brenda Joseph. Congratulations, Brenda. The last $100 winner is Nova Norman. Congratulations, Nova. And my $50 gift, which is either an e-gift card or a deposit in your PayPal account, is Sharon Hughes. Congratulations, Sharon. Do you all make sure you leave a comment below and then I'll send you a message and let you know how to get in touch with me. And uh, I was really happy to do this. I love to do giveaways. I love it. Sometimes I don't show things real well. I think you know what I'm talking about and, and you don't. <laughs> because when I'm watching it, I'm thinking I wasn't very clear. So that's why I put little captions on the top. What I'm do is I'm trying to tell you what I need to say. I think in May, it's gonna be nine years since I started my channel. And throughout that whole time, I always put my foundation on with my fingertips. I never found anything that I liked that did a good job, anything better than my fingertips. And I still don't mind it, but I have found something, and I'm gonna talk about this because Myra's gonna be getting one of these. When I talked about the contour brushes, this is what I use today, and I do have on something on my face, and I'll tell you about it. That's in my new uh, my new stuff. But these brushes are fabulous. I just put a dot on the back of my hand. I dipped it in, and I pressed it in, and I pressed it in all over. So this is the contour brush. I think they're about $34, but I know I'll never need another one. I know I will. I, this will be it, but I love it. The second one is just a smaller version, and it's the 109, and I could use this for a foundation too. It just doesn't cover as large of a space. But one that I really think, I mean, I, like, I love all three of them, but this one that Angie from Hot and Flashy Design, well, you know I don't wear a lot of makeup <laughs> so, because this is kind of special today. But when I talk about, I can either touch powder with my finger and put it right here and here to cover up that dark area. Well, this fits perfectly and it does a better job. I just put it right there and there and dab it in and it really works well. So these are the three, three brushes I was telling you about. I called them contour brushes. I think this is $24. These really are my very favorite brushes. I've had more expensive brushes than these. I had a set of Trish McAvoy and a lot of those brushes I've given away. And I bought those like one at a time. But if you are wanting a set of brushes, now first of all, I always have a 10% off code in the show more section below. But Lisa had sales just about every holiday. So this is something you might look for if you ever want to have, try a set of her brushes. It comes in a travel case, and this is a really nice pouch that you can put stuff in right here. You can put palettes or more brushes. It's a set of five brushes, 
and these two are face brushes and these three are eye brushes and it's truly um, almost all you'll really need it has the my favorite brush but it's just a little bit shorter but it's the, the head is exactly the same and then this size brush which is great for powder or blush that set sells for a hundred and twenty dollars but it is on sale often. Just check around the holidays. Sign up for her emails. Well, I've bought a few things in makeup and I have it on my face today. This Earlier today, I cleansed my face. I didn't put on any moisturizer. I was gonna put on, I love my Dermatology Physical Tinted Moisturizer, but for me, it doesn't tint my skin enough to where I want it. It will look like a foundation. Back in the day, It Cosmetics made a perfect one for me. It was, it had the word armor in it, and of course they quit making it. So I wanted this to be the same as that, but it isn't. But it's a wonderful moisturizer. I use it morning and night, and it is a sunscreen, but I don't use enough of it for it to be a sunscreen. So I went to the Ulta website, and I thought, I'm going to look for a tinted moisturizer, hydrator, that had a little bit more coverage. And the first thing I ordered was the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I wore it one time and it didn't stay. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it again. I just put it on bare skin. So I'm gonna try some more with this, but it, this was not very expensive. We'll see how it does. But today I'm wearing something I really like. I was looking on their sale page, which you know I will, and it's not always a good thing because I like this and because it was two for one, it probably means it's gonna go bye-bye. But it's Bare Minerals Complex Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And I bought two shades, and the shades I bought were Suede and Buttercream. And Buttercream looks really yellow, but it isn't on my face. But I'm gonna show you the consistency of this and, and why I like it. It does have a 30 SPF, but I'm not using it for sunscreen. I'm using, I'm wanting, you know, just to cover my face. So here it is right there. I don't know if there's any other marks on there on my hand or not, but it dries down to this type of a finish. I didn't have to powder. I didn't use any powder and I like it. I like the way it looks. It has, it's kind of glowy, but not too glowy. If I wanted it to be toned down, all I'd have to do is uh, put a little powder on. And I bought something from NYX. I wore it one time and I didn't like it, but I'm gonna try it again. It reminds me of the, the one I wore years ago from CoverGirl. Then I quit using CoverGirl because they weren't cruelty-free and now they're cruelty-free again. But this has the color on one end and then the clear part on the other. And it did stay. It stayed all day, but I didn't like the way it felt. But I'm gonna try it again. And then today I have on probably my it, it, it isn't my favorite, but it's tied with my favorite, if that makes sense. This is Buxom Dolly, and it is, it's called Primer Infused. I think I've had it two years. I use this, or I will use the Hourglass Mood Exposure, but it's really pretty. And I have just a little bit of a, a stick eyeshadow on, and mascara, and little eyeliner, but nothing new. I did order, I do have something new on. I was watching Tamara's Timeless Beauty and she put on some Merit lipstick and I just loved it. And here is the shade right here and I'll type the name because I don't have my contact in and I'll put the name up there. But I have this on and since this color, this top was light, it to me, it seemed too dark for what I'm wearing today. So I just put a little bit of, of the Milani lip gloss over it so I didn't use any lip liner or anything, but having this on made me kind of look like I had lip liner. But I tell you what, the combination feels good. And I've worn this several times. I got this when they had a sale. I think it was around Thanksgiving because I ordered this and then the lip stain and it was exactly $40. I, I guess there was no tax, no shipping and handling and they were marked down a little bit. But this is a nice lip oil. When I wear it, it feels good on my lips, and as it wears off, I do have a little color remaining on my lips. I do not have my CPAP machine. I talked about that in my last video. It has been three weeks since I talked to the Home Health Agency. They had the order, 
and I don't know if it's a supply chain issue or whatever, but I am not sleeping. I haven't been, I really haven't been sleeping good for a year, and I was always the person, and there are friends on here that know, I mean, I would go to bed, and then I'd wake up. I still don't have to get up and go to the bathroom at night. I just wake up. Last night, I, I woke up, I know, five times. The night before, I really felt like I didn't sleep. So I know that I'm really going to appreciate it and feel better and have more energy once I, once I get it. So that's kind of why I drag sometimes is because I wake up, wake up tired. I have to tell you, I've been doing, ever since my last video about the 32 weeks on Omnilux, I'm continuing using it. In the first one or two videos that I talked about, the eight week and the 16 week mark, I do my face for 10 minutes and then I take it off and I set the timer for three minutes, the timer on my phone, and I do my lips because it doesn't have any things around the lips and I don't like that about it, but this works out okay. And then I just stick it on top of my head for the last seven minutes. I don't know if you can see this, but I, <laughs> I think my hair is sprouting even more. I'm still using my foam that I always use, but I've never had this. I always try to avoid this area because I'm used to having that. And I think it's growing in and curling. So I just like to keep you up with what I'm doing. I can't wait. I'm doing something and I specifically did this to test something out, to see if I am gonna recommend it. I bought it myself. I just filled out my name and my address, didn't mention anything about having a YouTube channel. I got it, I'm using it, and then there's gonna be another step. And then if it's as good as I think it's gonna be, I'm gonna come back and tell you about it. I, I've, been, I've been excited. I like, I like anything that makes life easier. And this is something I think that could make a lot of people's lives easier. Do I need it? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it is all good. I appreciate every one of you that take the time to watch my videos. I know there's so many people that you could be spending time with. I love to read your comments. I learn so much from all of you. It's amazing the things that I learn and, and I appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. You. I'm Mary Ellen and <laughs> no, oops, no. So I have I have a set of it comes with three no it doesn't so I went to the ultra webs and I use this this uh, 